we're eating at our favorite quick service restaurant in Disney World. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the theme park movies and we're back at Animal Kingdom. And our favorite spot in Animal Kingdom, most of our favorite spot in Animal Kingdom, Pandora, the world of Avatar, the Valley of Moa Moana. Moana? <laughs> Not Moana, Moara. And we're going to our favorite, probably actually my favorite quick service restaurant outside Milton's Ice Cream mm -hmm. Parlor in Hershey Park. Where, Sam? Satuli Canteen. Yes, and what I really enjoy about Satuli Canteen is that the dishes in the bowls here aren't crazy hearty or heavy food. Yeah, they light, fill you up, but they're like refreshing. Yes. And it, they're so customizable. You get lettuce, yeah. you can get noodles, you can get hash, you get chicken or steak. Yeah, uh, I actually never had the noodles before, so I actually ordered the noodles. I've had the, noodles, the, yeah. uh, ha ha um, the hash before, a sweet potato hash. So good. Uh, Sam, also, what would you get? noodles too but nice. i got chicken you got chicken and beef yes and of course you cannot go to satuli canteen and not get cheeseburger pots. cheeseburger pots we actually have a whole video making cheeseburger pots ourselves uh -huh. if you guys want to check that out uh they actually are a recipe based after joe Rody's family recipe and uh he kind of linked it into the menu he was the lead imagineer uh, for animal kingdom as well as pandora world of avatar we also had a full morning doing a lot of things here in Animal Kingdom that we haven't done previously. One of those things was checking out Festival of the Lion King. That brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. I'm so happy that that was back and that we got to see that. It was that, incredible. That was probably my fa my favorite stage show I've seen in, in, Dis in the Disney parks. I didn't know about the animatronics in it. Yeah. I thought it was just dancers. I knew about the animatronics, but the singing, the dancing, the storytelling, so good. We also saw Kai Tails and a big <laughs> fail. With Kai Tails. Kai Tails was everything I wanted and more. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. I it's feel a like fun I could show. die happy yeah. now seeing that. I have a lot of respect for the performers for Kai Tails as well, because it has to be a very hard thing it's to stressful. put together, certainly. Also, we have 50th anniversary dishes here. Well, some 50th anniversary sweet treats that you could find in Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks here at Animal Kingdom. And we had both of them, which are the 50th anniversary cupcake, as well as the 50th anniversary brownie. The cupcake had like a lemon type of flavor to it. It also had like a lemon center, but you couldn't really see it when you cut through it. And of course, a lot of icing, Disney level icing. It wasn't my favorite cupcake. It was like a four for cupcakes. Not that great one. The dome was really good. Yeah, the dome brownie. Yes. It's mousse on top of like a brownie base. Yeah. That was really good. That was delicious. I would I would give that like a seven. Yeah. Uh, and I would I would not recommend that lemon cupcake if you guys Unless can check out the 50th you anniversary. Unless you like lemon sure. flavoring. Yeah. And a ton of icing, then yeah. that is for you. We had a lot of sweets this morning, but this is all about savory. They do actually have uh, some sweet options here, like a mousse cake that we've had before. It's very good. But we're trying to just keep, to keep the light meal in, and this is why it's one of our favorite ones here, because it's light, it's themed, it's alien food, and it's delicious. So, are you ready to go in, Sam? All right, let's let's uh, mark and say our order's ready in the app. We're having a little Satouli feast. Sam actually got a drink. I didn't know you got a drink until we got up there, it's Sam. It's a Pandoran sunrise, so it's um, melon, Powerade, and like tropical juices. I like Powerade and I like Drapple juices. But I imagine it's good. You get a little pineapple there with it too. Seven. Ooh, seven. I just seen got the chicken bowl. And you can see them like cooking it on over the fire when you walk in. Yeah. There's a number of different sauces that you can use as well. Yeah, there's like a herb vinaigrette and then like a creamier dressing. Which yeah, we I got the creamier one. Yeah, we both like same. So we got very similar stuff. She got chicken and I got chicken and beef. And just so you guys know, this is based off of a uh, conservation conservation station, the Valley of Moana. So as you walk through Sicily Canteen, you'll see a giant chandelier, and then there's a bunch of artifacts, almost like Sicily Canteen is like a little museum that you're dining in. Obviously, it's a dining hall as well. And you can see the chandeliers all hang from the ceiling. It's very nice. Those noodles look delicious, Sam. Mm. What would you rate that one out of the This is really one of my favorite theme park meals. Me too. It's light. I honestly don't yeah. think it can get better. Yeah, as far as like quick go service nine. goes. I'm going to go nine. Wow, nine is really good. Okay, so our favorite thing here, my favorite thing here at least, are the cheeseburger pots. 
again, a Joe Rody family recipe. You can actually uh, get either coleslaw or vegetable chips in it. We want coleslaw because I'm trying to get a little bit lighter, especially with how heavy we've eaten in the last few days. I'm gonna try the slaw because I've actually never had the slaw before. It's actually a coleslaw. I feel like the slaw is also in the salad. I think you've had it before. Mm, you're right. It's vinegar heavy, not so much mayo heavy. It does taste very fresh. Give it a five. Stand in four. Right, so these are the cheeseburger pots we right now. The ones you made at home actually were really good, Sam. So yeah. We have to do that time. again. We have so much to thank Joe Rody for. Like, mm -hmm. he gives us Flight of Passage mm. and cheeseburger pots. And at all of them. Yeah. For me, as far as like food service food, it tastes like you took a Big Mac and put it in a bun. A bow bun. It's a nine for me for these. They're one of my favorite things ever. And I think they're like my must get animal animal snack for sure. Okay, so I got the beef and chicken. So since you already tried chicken, Sam, I'll try a little bit of beef. I like the creamy dressing. I don't think that we've had that before. Yeah, I, I think I got the vinegar at last time. Which, again, everything we've had previously, we can definitely recommend. It's a big bite. Now this slaw you have on top mixes so well because you have that little vinegar flavor that mixes in with the creamy that we put on. And the noodles taste like Thai noodles. It's very good. And the roast beef is just tender. I'm gonna go with nine. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This meal is a little bit pricey though. Mm -hmm. It came to about 50 bucks for everything and the drink, but it is it is quality and it is nice to get out of the heat yeah. and sit inside. They do have outdoor seating too, but yeah. I like to come in here and eat. Like we said, like this is our favorite place to eat in all of Disney World, so I, I kind of raised that price. And also, if you do want a mobile order or eat here, make sure you get here early, right Sam? Because yeah. we, we saw people walking up and there was, there was a 45 minute wait to order inside and through the mobile order app we had to wait a half hour after we made our order before we can even sit here here so just make sure if you want to eat here you can put in your plan all right so that does it for our time this is really canteen i have to say again still ranking my number one disney quick service it's like that and milton's as far as any theme park i've ever been to right and i feel like theme park food is so inconsistent yeah but the chili is always tastes always the same yeah uh, tender very uh, meat, juice, meat. You can actually watch them making the meat. It's like a big fire right as you walk in as well. I wanted to know it's that. It's just so much better than eating like yeah. burgers and chicken fingers. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but like I don't prefer to do that. Yeah, and the atmosphere in there is like oh, it's very and, relaxing. Yeah, it, it definitely adds and accentuates the experience of Pandora, World of Avatar. Also, a really fun day checking out Festival of the Lion King, as well as all the other amazing attractions they have here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Also, Kite Tales. I fail sometimes, but a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, liking it really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out there into the stratosphere of YouTube algorithm. It helps other people find the video subscribing. Also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell the notifications so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. The days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, I can just like stand in here and have a good time. <laughs> But I think we're gonna wait for Flight of Passage. It's only 70 minutes, which may sound like a lot, but for Flight of Passage, yeah. when we first came here, we've seen 220 minute waits for this ride. So, plus our room isn't ready for our resort yet. Well, let's hop on.